In this topic, we will discuss about the VLAN trunk port configuration. Since we are using different VLANs, that's the reason why we need trunk in order the traffic can pass between different VLANs. So we here, we have different switches and to connect the traffic, we need trunk because access port configuration is done when there is a traffic passing between the same VLANs. So here I have my PCs already configured to the IP address that we are seeing here. So all those IP addresses, which is 10.10.10.1 and 10.10.20.1, they have to be configured according to what we see here. That is 10.0 subnet should be in IT team and should belong to VLAN 10 and 20.0 subnet should belong to HR team and should be configured under VLAN 20. So let's check if we can ping the PCs which are in the same subnet. That is, which are in the same VLANs. So what I do is I go to PC and go to my command prompt. I want to ping from my PC uh, IT team from 10.10 .10 to 10.11. So let's check if we have connectivity. So I ping from P, um, 10.10.10. .10 .10 .10 10 to destination 10.11, which is in the same subnet. So let's see what happens. So yes, we are able to see the traffic is passing from 10.10 .10 to 10.11. Let's see if we can ping 10. Uh, sorry, uh, 20.11 11 which is in a different subnet and you can observe that you will see packet drop the reason is because they are in a different subnet so now our first task is let's configure these two pcs under VLAN 10 and configure our HR team PC under con uh, VLAN 20. So yes, we found that there is 100% packet drop. The reason is because they are not in the same subnet. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure the VLANs first for our IT team. So if I type show VLAN brief, you can see that none of the ports are configured. They are all in default VLAN one. So let's go ahead and configure the ports according to what is given here. Yes, so that's what we see here. So VLAN 1 has got all the ports configured under VLAN 1 as a default. So let's assign um, VLAN 10 for all the IT team PCs that we see. So just go to global configuration. And let's create a VLAN first. So I give VLAN
So I gave VLAN 10 under global configuration. And let's give a name. The name is IT team. Okay, so you can give another VLAN here, that is VLAN 20, and name it as HR team. Okay, so we have two of the VLANs configured. Let's verify, show VLAN brief. And let, let's see what you see here. You can see that you have created two VLANs. One is VLAN 10 for IT team and VLAN 20 for HR team. So now let's add our interface 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 in VLAN 10. So go to global configuration and select the interface that is i add interface i will take a range because i do not want to um, you know take separately so i will take a range and it is fast ethernet zero slash one comma fast ethernet zero slash two And I can assign my VLAN. So I go to switch port, mode access, switch port, access, and my VLAN number, that is we have created VLAN 10. So I mentioned VLAN 10 here, and that is configured under VLAN 10, which is our IT team. So let's verify the same now. So just go to show VLAN brief, and I can see that both of my interfaces 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 is configured under IT team, which is in VLAN number 10. Now we also have another PC here that belongs to HR team, which is in a 20.0 subnet for VLAN 20. Let's add this PC, uh, which belongs to fast ethernet zero slash three so we need to add this zero slash three for vlan 20 so that this connects to those pcs which are in 20.0 subnet so just go again to configuration that is global configuration mode choose the interface i just have one interface here so i will just take interface fast ethernet zero slash three and that in our vlan that we have created already so we have created a vlan 20 here that belongs to hr team so just add that here so just go to switch port mode access again go to switch port access vlan and the vlan number which we created for hr team is vlan 20 that you see here so just give that vlan 20 here and exit out so let's verify show vlan brief so you can see that all your three ports are configured so 0 slash 1 0 slash 2 belongs to it team in vlan 10 and fast ethernet 0 slash 3 belongs to hr team and it's in vlan 20.
but a gigabit ethernet zero slash one needs to be configured yet and let's go ahead and configure them so i do not want to uh, configure that in vlan one because it's not secure so i would like to configure it in native vlan uh, so let's first check what is the status of our gigabit ethernet zero slash one so just go to show interface uh, gigabit ethernet zero slash z oh sorry we have zero slash one here so yeah so i take zero slash one and type switch port just press enter and let's see what we see here so i have not configured anything so far for this port and hence it is in vlan 1 by default and i would like to change that to vlan 198 for example uh, it's supposed to be a niche vlan for security reason and you can see the operational mode is access port so we need to change that from access port to trunk port in order to communicate between two different VLANs. So I go ahead and configure in native VLAN first. So configure, go to global configuration mode. And I type, um, let's take a VLAN. 198 and name it as native okay so this is configured in native vlan so go back to your interface that is zero slash one i go to interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one and configure it as a trunk instead of access so go switch port mode trunk and since this is a, a very old switch it will not be taking this uh, encapsulation dot one q because it is already configured for dot one so even if you can try with this command which is switch port mode trunk encapsulation dot one q it doesn't make any difference so let's verify what we see for gigabit zero slash one so just go show interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one switch port you can now see your administrative mode has changed from access to trunk but we still have not configured our zero slash one gigabit ethernet to our native vlan because it's still showing in default so let's go ahead and configure it in native vlan 198 so just go to global configuration Go to interface gigabit ethernet zero slash zero. Switch port. Okay, interface gigabit zero slash one because that's what we have taken here. So go to switch port mode trunk switch port trunk 
we are configuring it as a native VLAN 198. So give the command native VLAN 198. And just exit out. Let's also make sure that now your gigabit ethernet has been successfully changed from VLAN 1, which was default, and it should be changed to your native VLAN, which is 198. So let's verify the same. So just go to show interface VLAN. Oh, sorry, you can say show interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one switch port so let's make sure that this time yeah so you can see the administrative mode is trunk your operation mode is also trunk with the dot one q encapsulation that was taken by the switch being an old switch and it has taken dot one q by itself and it has successfully changed its default vlan to native vlan which is 198 So let's go to our switch two and configure the same. So I go to switch two and we have not configured anything so far on our switch two and this is brand new switch. So here, just go to enable mode, then go to global configuration mode and let's name our VLANs exactly the VLANs that we have mentioned in our switch one. So just, Let's create a VLAN 10 and name it as IT team. I will also create a VLAN VLAN 20 and name it as HR team. We also have a native VLAN, which is 198. So create a VLAN, VLAN 198, and this was named as native. Okay, so let's verify what are the VLANs that we are seeing in our switch to. So show VLAN brief. You can still see VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 198 configured as a native VLAN. Okay, so that's the configuration we have done on our switch to for now. So we now have to configure our gigabit ethernet zero slash one for native VLAN. So let's configure the same. So configure interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one. So switch port mode trunk. And it says that it is rejected. An interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto and cannot be configured to trunk mode. So I will need to change that auto mode to encapsulation.1q. So let's do that. So switch port trunk encapsulation. dot one Q and now I can configure it as a switch port mode trunk. And also you will have to configure this in native VLAN in order to have the similarity between your switch one and switch two. And it should be able to 
send traffic. So let's configure this in native VLAN. So just go to your interface gigabit. Okay, you need to go to global configuration, go to interface, Ethernet slash one, switch port, mode is trunk that we know, and switch port, trunk, native, VLAN. 198 just like what we did for switch one okay so so here let's verify show vlam brief so you can see your native vlam So you can see you have your native VLAN configured here. Let's verify the port gigabit ethernet zero slash one if it is having a VLAN 198. So show interface gigabit ethernet zero slash one switch port you can see here that yes administrative mode is trunk operational mode is trunk the trunking encapsulation is dot one q encapsulation and also we have our native vlan 198 for our gigabit ethernet zero slash one so now i go to switch three and do the same configuration for vlan 10 vlan 20 and also configure vlan 198 which was our native vlan so far so let's go to switch so this is a brand new switch and I have not configured anything. So just go to enable mode and global configuration. And um, let's create VLAN here. So VLAN um, 10, we need to give the name that is IT team. Again, VLAN 20, name it as a HR team. And also we have VLAN 198, which is our na native VLAN. So we have VLAN 198. And that was named as native. Now we also need to configure our gigabit ethernet zero slash two, which is connected to our switch two. And this should be configured for VLAN 198. So there should be same VLAN similarity between all these switches. And hence, he, we will also configure the same VLAN number, which is 198, even for this particular gigabit zero slash two interface. So what you can do here is just go to interface gigabit ethernet slash zero. So go to interface gigabit ethernet zero slash two, which is directly connected to your switch two. and go to switch port mode trunk and you have to give switch port encapsulation that is switch port trunk encapsulation 
but it will not take this because this is has taken dot one q by default but let's try but that doesn't make any difference because it has taken dot one q by default so just give switch port trunk and your native vlan which is vlan 198 So let's check that one more time now. You might see error which is saying CDP mismatch. And that is probably when you go to your switch to you have to ensure that you have configured this gigabit slash zero uh, slash two is configured to your native VLAN 195 and your trunk should be enabled. For example, you might see administrative mode auto. So you will have to change that to uh, administrative mode trunk. So you have to use this command here, just like earlier. So you might see the mismatch. So just go to your interface and go to interface gigabit ethernet slash zero you will have to ensure that you give the encapsulation for dot one q and then give this command switch port mode trunk and then you can see you have the native vlan configured and hence the status will change to administrative mode trunk encapsulation is dot one q and you can see the trunking native vlan is 198 and here instead of dynamic auto you will see it is administrative mode is showing us trunk instead of dynamic auto so if you ever see that the administrative mode is dynamic auto ensure that you go back to to your interface and configure your interface with the dot one q encapsulation and make your interface as a trunk using these commands and also make sure that you assign the native vlan to your interface on the switch Okay, I have not assigned the VLANs of these two PCs in VLAN 10. So let's go ahead and assign VLAN 10 for both of these PCs. So I go to switch. Go to con global configuration mode. And I need a range. Uh, let's verify what VLANs have we created first. Let's verify that. So show VLAN, you need to go back to your, yeah. So you have to go to enable mode, go to show VLAN. So show VLAN and you give that brief command. So you have this already, but you do not have your ports configured yet, right? let me just yeah so here you do not have the port configured in these okay so let's go ahead and assign the port numbers for vlan 10 okay so i go to my topology here so vlan 10 is our it team so this is the vlan 10 that is 10.0 subnet that has to be your VLAN 10. So what is the port connected on the switch? It is 0 slash 3, fast ethernet 0 slash 3. So I take 
that port to global configuration so interface fast ethernet zero slash three and i assign them to a vlan switch port mode access switch port access vlan vlan how much what's the id uh, this is for 10.0 subnet nothing but vlan 10 okay so vlan 10 that is successfully configured so we will configure our 20.0 uh, subnet okay and they belong to vlan 20 okay so let's go to those port here nothing but fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 so i will use range command so i go to global configuration go to internet interface range command i use fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and fast ethernet yeah zero zero slash two together because i want to configure them together okay so and i go to switch port mode and switch port mode since it's in the same vlan okay and the same switch so i use switch port mode access then go to switch port access vlan we have already created that and it is vlan 20. okay so just exit out so this has been configured so let's verify so just go to show vlan brief you can see here if you just scroll down so yeah so you have both of your ports zero slash one and zero slash two in uh, hr team and slash three in vlan 10. now let's verify what has happened to our gigabit zero slash two so just go show interface gigabit zero slash two switch port and you can see that you have administrative mode is trunk dot one q encapsulation and your trunking native vlan is 198 and it is all configured correct okay so now that we have configured all the configurations that is on switch one switch two and switch three so between these switches we have configured our trunk port and within the switch we have connected those ports using access ports okay so now let's check the connectivity between the same vlans between the switches so what we can do here is let's ping from the pc it team with sub uh, with the subnet 10.10.10.0 .10 .10 subnet to another 
PC of the same subnet, but which is in a different switch. So let's ping from the PC, which is currently present in switch one, to a PC which is present in the switch three, but which is in the same VLAN, okay? So let's go to PC and go to command prompt. So let's ping from this PC, which is IT team PC, to another PC IT team of the same VLAN, but they are in a different switches. So ping from this PC to this PC, okay? That is 10.12. So 10.10.10.12 and you are seeing that there is traffic that is observed with 0% loss. So you can also try to ping between the same switch 10.10.10.11 I'm talking about this PC as a destination host. So you're trying to ping from here to this PC and you can still see you, the packets are passing through, okay? So no matter the host is present in the same switch or the host is present in a different switch, provided they are in the same VLAN, you can still see you can, the, the packets are passing through and there is zero loss in the packet drop, okay? So, but if you are trying to ping from this PC to another subnet, okay, okay it will still fail, okay? So you can only ping from the same VLANs, but not in a different VLANs. So if you want to ping, from 10 dot, uh, okay, so you, this is your 10.0 subnet. If you want to ping to 20.10 subnet, okay, you can see the packets will drop. So I go and this 20.10 host is in a different switch. And yes, it's a different VLAN, okay? So just type enter and you are seeing there is no packets. So packets are dropping. So in order, the reason is because we do not have a router configured yet, okay? We are seeing it's, it is not configured and hence you need a router to be connected in order to have a communication between different subnet and this we will see in the next video i hope that you all have enjoyed this video see you in the next lecture